We don't have the camera crew here all the time. Guys, boom go. mic! Oh, I didn't even know it's the boom mic! <laughs> I don't want us to have a shallow story, but I want us to have a story that we know we can really execute and deliver. The way we approached Starhawk was different than the way we approached other stuff in the past because we knew that we had a really fun, successful recipe with the multiplayer. And what we wanted to do is kind of take it in a slightly different direction. And so we didn't want to do just kind of the what's become the bog standard sci-fi. We wanted to give it some kind of twist, something kind of unique. There were two lines that we really needed to avoid. And one was the Space Marine line, and the other was the military line. We wanted to find something in the middle that felt like it could really stand out in that crowded market. And we ended up settling on Western because that seemed like an interesting mix of two genres. You know, we retain a lot of the tenets of the sci-fi. We've been very conscious of making it accessible for people to kind of grab hold of and hopefully take on as their own. And we wanted to really try to work into this universe a very coherent theme of why these guys are out here. And that's where we came up with the Rift Energy. This is something that is a very high density, high efficiency energy source. They develop a way to mine it and they start setting up these mining operations. More and more people made the rush out to the frontier to try to seek fame and fortune. Unfortunately, life as a rifter was fraught with peril and a lot less fame and a lot less fortune. It's only then that we discover that Rift Energy has that little dark side. If a human is directly exposed to it, it induces this transformation and they mutate. The Rift Energy permeates their body, their mind, and they end up becoming enraged, hell-bent, to protect the Rifts from the Rifters. And that's one of the factions in our game, the Outcasts. And they form these roaming war bands that go from corner to corner in the frontier, all the distant colonies. And that's the backdrop against which our hero shows up. We wanted there to be a face, a character that in our now included single player campaign that would really connect with players. That's where our character Emmett Graves comes in. The, uh, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> the story that we're trying to tell is a smaller story set in a very vast universe. It's really a personal story about where our guy comes from, and why is he the way he is. Emmett and Cutter, their gear man, basically travel in their dropship for many, many years throughout all the distant systems in the frontier. And they become rift salvagers. And so Emmett ended up being almost like a hired gun, like a gunslinger, protecting claims, going to colonies that were being attacked by outcast war bands. Heads up, you have a group of pissed off scouts coming down at the spires. And so Emmett and Cutter take their rift salvaging operation to protect White Sands, a small colony on the distant moon of dust from an outcast war band. And you are brought in to bring to justice this outlaw. Anybody that comes out here has a plan or a problem. I came back with both. I hope they find really a satisfying story experience where they can learn the ins and outs and feel like at the end of this whole campaign, they've mastered a lot of these build and battle elements and a lot of these new kind of innovations we're throwing at you. It's good to have a good single player game. I love that in multiplayer games because like I like to go through single player, get comfortable with like all the different weapons and you know figure out all the different tactics and you know I want to know this game before I go into multiplayer so that way when I go into multiplayer I already know what to do, you know, I'm good. We got a ways to go before we can stick yeah. that together into a spaceship engine. <laughs> Engage! <laughs> Thank you.